Now, when I turn it over from the superior view to an inferior view, okay, we're looking at this. So what do we have here, okay? This is the mandible, okay? And when I take off the mandible, remember what I said, these models come apart. Let me unhinge these little springs here. If I take off the mandible, I want you to look at this region right here, okay? I'm gonna pop this off. And sure enough, what do we have at that spot right there, okay? This is called the mandibular fossa. You'll see it on this side as well, the mandibular fossa. That's right where your temporomandibular joint is. Temporo, from your temporal bone, mandibular, because your mandible was just sitting right here. Your temporomandibular joint is right there. That's the mandibular fossa, okay? If you take your tongue and you push it to the roof of your mouth, you'll feel your hard palate. All of this makes up your hard palate. So we have the maxillary bone. We have the palatine bone. Further posterior, we have the vomer. You'll remember I mentioned the vomer as what makes up part of the perpendicular plate. Uh, pardon me, what makes up part of the uh, nasal septum in our nose, which your vomer is right here. Then we get to these structures right here. These two smooth structures, one on one side, one on the other, are where your skull is going to rest right on top of your vertebrae. So you'll learn about that soon as well, okay? But these are the smooth condyles. We call them occipital condyles because they are part of your occipital bone. Remember, this is your occipital bone on the posterior side here, okay? We also have, again, the zygomatic arch. You can see it on both sides. And we have these foramina that we can see. Remember, the oval-shaped one here, foramen oval. The larger one medial to that, foramen lacerum, okay? We have carotid canal, where your carotid artery runs. We have jugular foramen. That's where your jugular vein passes through, okay? Same on this side. This is foramen oval, foramen lacerum, carotid canal, and jugular foramen. And of course, the largest one, this is where our spinal cord is going to pass through the foramen magnum, okay? We see these styloid processes. I can put my fingers behind them to, to make it a little bit easier. We have the mastoid processes. And then as we come all the way to the posterior side here of the occipital bone, we have the external occipital protuberance. That's this bump right here. External, because it's on the outside, occipital, because it's on your occipital bone, protuberance, right, because it's kind of jutting out and, and, and poking out from the rest of the skull there, okay? That's that little bump. If I feel the back of my skull, I can feel that. I can palpate that pretty easily. External occipital protuberance. Mm -hmm.